Hello and welcome to another Imaginate Video Tech Tip. In this video, I will showcase a sample bridge design workflow using the latest 2021 versions of both InfraWorks and Civil 3D. I will create the conceptual bridge, parametrically change the components that make up that bridge, and perform a girder analysis on the bridge before finally bringing the entire design into Civil 3D 2021 to showcase the new bridge AEC object type. Within InfraWorks 2021, you can see I've already started a simple bridge design for a rural bridge with two piers. If I click on any component that makes up the bridge, I have changed the view settings so that we do not see the deck or the road, but we do see the girders. For the design standard of this bridge, I will be using Ashto LRFD and my girders will be pre-stressed concrete. First, I will change from conceptual to engineering view. These are views that I have set up so that I can see not only turn off animation, but also see substructure objects. Now, if we look at the girders along the bridge, you can see that there are three separate girder group lengths between piers. As you can see, if we zoom in, the middle deck group is considerably larger than either of the groups on the outside. To compensate for this, I've increased the size of some of the girders in the group, specifically the outside girders, to be class six, while the inside girder is class four. Before I can go any further with my analysis, I must first make sure that these girders that I have chosen will work for the bridge. To do that, I can perform a line girder analysis introduced in InfraWorks 20.2. And as you can see on the pane that comes up, I have already run the analysis. The analysis is free and can be run as many times as needed. The only portion of the analysis which costs cloud credits would be the printing of the report itself. If I turn my bridge slightly and look at it, and click on a different girder, you can see which girders have passed, by which ones are green, and which girders are red. In this case, I see one red girder in the middle of my longest girder group. And as shown on the results tab, I've analyzed all nine girders. Eight of them satisfied the design requirements, while one did not. While the results panel is active, if I click on the one girder in the middle, I can see the reasons why it did not pass review. It seems that the live load bending has exceeded standards, and the pre-stress transfer was dangerously close to exceeding standard, as shown with the red and orange coloration. On the right hand of the results, you can also see any other design standards that were violated referenced to the Ashto LRFD Bridge Design Specifications 7th edition. In an effort to salvage my design and keep costs low for my design, I will now try to redistribute some of the available length in the girder groups, shorten up the middle girder group, and make them equal to the same three girder groups. If I wanted these girder groups to be of equal length, I could, of course, grab the pier and grab the slider, giving the first pier in series a new offset value. But rather than that, because in my case, I just want the piers to be equidistant from each other, I'm going to send all of these results to Excel and do my analysis that way. To accomplish this, while I have my bridge selected, I will right click and send the project to a spreadsheet. Once I save, Excel will automatically launch and I will see all of the components of my bridge broken up by section. When working parametrically in bridges in InfraWorks and Excel, there are two things you need to remember. First, any text in blue is text that can be edited and brought back into the design itself. 
text in black is calculated and may not be edited. I may use any available field in Excel and use the functions of Excel to do calculations, but I must remember to delete them before bringing the information back into InfoWorks or the import will fail. In the interest of time, I have sped forward to the point after recalculating the new offsets. Once that's done, the only thing left is to save the results, go back to InfraWorks, click the design, go to send to spreadsheets, and update existing. You can see now I have three equal lengths. The only thing remaining to do is also make sure that the girders are the same. And I will do that by selecting the girder group that is appropriate, right-clicking, and applying that to all girder groups. Once I open my bridge model in Civil 3D 2021 now, we notice on the prospector there is a new object called bridges. If I expand the object, it will show me my bridge as well as a panoramic window of the parts that make up the bridge itself. Coming to the model itself on the plan view, if I turn my view, I can now see the parts of my bridge object, including the girders, which you can now see in the properties panel, piers, piles, bridge deck, etc. Thank you for watching. Make sure to visit us at our website to see other free resources as well as additional learning materials related to Autodesk and engineering design.